it going guys welcome back to the channel pete's carport and welcome to part 1.5 of our project 944 series so what we're doing here is creating a lightweight street slash track car based on what porsche would have done if they made a 944r now i know there's another gentleman out there that created a video created a car uh, and even has a page set up with a very similar concept and i saw that years ago absolutely loved it and finally got the opportunity now to do it with my 944 so what we're going to do is create something similar but with my own vision in mind and what we've already done if you didn't see the first video and i will leave a link to that is stripped out all of the sound deadening all those tar mats and I started to grind down some of the material underneath there. We pulled out all the carpets and saved quite a bit of weight. So an estimate between 100 and 150 pounds uh, when you consider the spare tire, the back seat, and all the other stuff that we pulled out. So what I wanna do now is put everything back in that'll make it look like a regular street car, but still have all those lightweight capabilities. So what we're gonna do is take our grinder here, our wire brush grinder, and grind out all of the glue and padding we can from that rear seat area. And then we're gonna hit it with this truck bed liner. And I think I'm gonna do it on our wheel wells here, uh, probably back in here. And we're gonna go ahead and take out these motors like we said we were gonna do in the last episode. I've got another motor back here we're gonna take out. See if we can pull out some more weight from this and then kind of recreate it back into a street car. So I've got some of my carpets over here. I may be switching to some lightweight carpets, but I'm gonna use these as a template. I'll kind of fill you in as we go what we're gonna do. So without further ado, let's speed through a lot of this. You'll see some of the process of it. Um, you know, unfortunately in our last episode, we found some rust down in here and over here. I went ahead and fixed that to my best capabilities off camera and I think it came out really good. And we'll be grinding out some of the other rust, but I'll speed through all of that. We'll hit primer on that. Uh, so without further ado, let's get going.
Well guys, that about wraps it up on this section of the interior build. We have one more item that we're gonna do on this interior to kind of cut back on some weight, but mostly for looks, and that is work on this door. Kind of do something 911R style, and I'm really excited about that. So it's gonna take me some time to kind of figure out the exact way I wanna do it, but that'll be coming up in the next video most likely. And then I've gotta decide if I'm going to change out these this glass for a lightweight glass, a polycarbonate. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm sold on the snorkel going in here since we're deleting our AC. And then to cut weight, I really think we're gonna definitely go with a uh, lightweight glass here and something with the rear hatch. Now let's go ahead and take a look at everything we did here. We ended up laying back in the original carpet. I cut it down a little bit. I, originally I went down to Lowe's and I picked up some carpet that kind of matched this and I was going to lay it out in here and recut everything but after laying this down I really like the way it looked and it's all about weight savings why spend the money when this is nice and lightweight and I think it looks really good now my favorite section is the uh, rear seat delete we painted this with the truck bed liner and I think it came out absolutely amazing it's very durable and it's very lightweight, obviously, because there's no seat there. And then we've got our racing seat in here. So like I said, we've still got one more section I think I want to do, uh, but I want to think it through, and that is these door panels. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was kind of a quick run through of putting the interior back together after removing all that really, really heavy insulation, all that tar mat, and I think it came out really good. Oh, one last thing is we ended up taking out all this stuff. Now I just kind of sped through, but we took out these rear speakers that weren't even hooked up and uh, these motors here. So that's probably another 15 pounds or so. You add back in about five pounds of carpet. So we probably lost another 10 pounds there, which is which to me is absolutely amazing. But you guys have an awesome day, a blessed week, and I'll catch you on the next video.